the Addie Uvano, three-year-old Philly Pace, Lady Mac Beach, Mullen Hanover, What Fools Believe, Access Hollywood, Nyan Gale, Free at Last K, and Witch and Flight on the outside. The gate swings around the turn, and there they go. Off and pacing, that's free at last K. Going for the lead with Witch and Flight. Up on the outside, Witch and Flight goes off stride. He had the turn, racing now. Second at Mullen Hanover, Lady Mac Beach gets away third. What fools believe, racing fourth. As they race around the turn, go on to the first quarter mark. On top of the field, taking the lead now as they come over to the quarter, Mullen Hanover. Opening panel 28 and 1 fifth. Passing a 10 to the first time. Here comes Lady McBeach and Dave Fallon from third. Now second. Powering up on the outside to take the lead. Into the clubhouse turn. Lady McBeach the leader. Mullen Hanover is second. Free at last K. Racing third. What fools believe. Fourth. Access Hollywood racing fifth. Into the turn. Nine Gales sixth. And back trailing the field. Witch and flight. They go by the half. 57 and two, second quarter, 29 and one. Moving from the back of the pack, what fools believe. First up from fourth, following the cover is Nyan Gale. We got four in and three out, going to the three quarter mark. On top of the field, that's Lady McBeach with the lead. Up on the outside, what fools believe. Inside, Mullen Hanover third. The outside, Nyan Gale fourth. Free at last K, racing fifth. Witch and flight six, access Hollywood trails. Three quarters, 127. Backside, 29 and three. They've got an eighth of a mile to go and Lady Mac Beach controls by a length and a half. Nyan Gale comes three wide on the outside. Inside, Mullen Hanover, but they're all chasing Lady Mac Beach on top by five lengths now. Nyan Gale on the outside, inside free at last K. It's all Lady. Matt Beach photo for place one fifty five and two final half fifty eight final quarter twenty eight and two Lady Mac Beach it kind of all really got going with her last year here at the Meadows and she's had a rough start this year so maybe it'll all get going for her now there's a lot of major races to go and. One and a photo. One five six. One five six, we're told. One five and six. Into the winner's circle, number one, Lady Mac Beach. On out of this of Holland, Michigan, Jill Holloway, Turing's Dave Pullen's 372nd, is 217th stakes winner this season. Megan Saddleberg returns to the Meadows a winner with Lady Mac Beach. 155 and 2. Final half 58. Final quarter 28 and 2. Lady McBeach, Joe Holloway train, Dave Pallone, and caretaker Megan Saddleberg. Welcome back to the Meadows. You come back a big winner. Uh, Megan now working for Joe Holloway. Mm -hmm. And uh, she uh, brought, uh, she's now taking care of Lady Mac Beach. That's probably why she won so real quick. Mm -hmm. And got a two year old, I think, in tomorrow. Number one, Lady Mac Beach. Coming in front of the grandstand the first time. Well, I think she liked the front end, and I think she liked a little softer spot than she's been racing against. Uh, I can't really get a beat on how good a mile it was. Uh, the track is obviously pretty uh, tore up at this point, but she got home 28 and 2 and she seemed herself. She's a very nice filly. The two outside the fillies came on early, and had they not, if you were left to make the decision, would you have taken her right to the top, going to the quarter, or wait uh, just to see how things played out? I was just going to wait and kind of fill it out. You know, I didn't want to get in too big a hurry with her and make a mistake. Um, she really got over the racetrack better this year than she did last year. And like I said, once they got settled and I thought I could get back to the front without having to spend her too much, that's what we wanted. She didn't seem to be challenged either coming home. Was that her function or the function of the racetrack? What's it like out there? I noticed in the previous race you came up the lightning lane to win. Here you made your move in the middle of the racetrack. What's it like from the rail on out? You know, usually by now I have a bead, John, but the first couple horses I raced on the lead I thought would be real good tonight, and uh, they really made lead pretty easy, and I thought they'd be much better, and they got tired. So I was kind of between how in the race this filly, but... 
when it's set up and uh, Georgie's Philly made a break leaving and it looked like I could get him lined up. That was the move, I guess. Good luck the rest of the night, Dave All right, thanks. Lady McBeach, the two-year-old Philly champion, looks like she is back on her best form. Uh, the fan Hanover, the Jugette, the Breeders' Crown, all within her grasp, I think, gentlemen. Thank you, John.